half-time team talks uh, they're relevant to uh, an extent each game changes I mean you can start it all depends basically for me it all depends on whether the players respect you <laughs> My captain has a big influence on the half-time team talk. Um, he's a coach, a level two coach, so he's constantly talking throughout the game and things like that. So he picks up on things throughout the game that might, I might not necessarily influence. There's no holes barred, really. We try not to dig anyone out, because if you're trying to play the second half, your head could drop. So if you dig a player out, their head's going to drop, they'll be like, no, I can't do it. But we try and be honest. Because if you're not honest, someone's not going to really know how you feel and how they feel about the game. So if you're saying to someone, look mate, can you do this? But normally, we have a quiet word with him and say, look, or as a collective, we go to defence and not performing today. Can we sort this out? Can we do this right? Can we work together? But we try and do positive encouragement. I always have a thought in my head of what I want to say. And sometimes it's, it's difficult to sort of get that out to the players. Like I've always got a thought of maybe well, this is their key player, we need to drop in and box them into, a, into an area to stop them playing out from the back. And I, I always sort of forget of, to bring that up in the, in the half-time team board. So it's things that I can do to adapt as well, maybe write it down and, and just adapt to every situation, really, every scenario. The hardest thing is sticking to a game plan when people aren't sort of aware of it during the game, changing and things like that. So at half-time, it's nice to get everyone in, settle everyone down, and carry on playing football.